good morning everybody it is December 23rd 2023 and this video is called the aftermath video so usually the aftermath video we have a whole bunch of snow so you guys can see what what town looks like and compare it to the video the calm before the storm video to see the big difference but there isn't a big difference however we are going to drive all the way up to onyx summit because i heard there might be a couple inches of snow up there so if that's the case i will then ask you guys the people who are really looking for the snow when you're coming up to town maybe take highway 38 because then you guys can stop up at onyx summit with your kids and throw some snowballs i think that'd be pretty awesome i i just gotta find this for you guys so anyway hope you all are having a beautiful morning it's a beautiful saturday my gosh it's gorgeous out here today temperature is about 36 degrees it's a quarter to 10 in the morning and yeah just a, just a just spectacularly blue sky today but yeah we just checked out of the hotel i'm a little bit sad because i really got some good sleep there but it is what it is nothing good lasts forever right but yeah so we're gonna go up to onyx summit onyx summit you guys is the highest point on highway 38 coming in and out of town it's uh, 8,443 feet which is what you will hit driving up that direction Big Bear Dam got just over a half inch of total precipitation from this three and a half to four days worth of the storm which is nothing uh, Big Bear Lake got three tenths of an inch I mean, it was, it was, it was nothing, you guys, just nothing. And very few spots saw any snowflakes come down at all. And when they did, it was just for a couple minutes. For instance, at my house in Moon Ridge, we didn't see any, any snow. Actually, that's not true. I saw maybe a snowflake, which is, you know, what got me to go out faster but um, unfortunately it just didn't pan out again oh look 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 at the roof there I don't know if you can really see but there's a little bit of snow on that roof I like seeing that but yeah guys again I hope you're having a great morning if you want to do me a solid hit the like and subscribe button i would appreciate it this is the snow play this is one of our sledding areas for you guys it's called big bear snow play but yeah like subscribe share the videos help me out i'd appreciate it i do put a lot of time into this and that would be a very big help and uh for your merchandise there's a link in the description, but go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and that's another way you can help support the channel. And there's, there are other ways also in the description like Venmo, Cash App, my address, all that good stuff. If you guys feel inclined to help me out, I'd appreciate it. But for now, we're gonna head up to Onyx Summit and uh, go find some snow. So right now we are in Big Bear City on Big Bear Boulevard, AKA Highway 18. It should take us maybe from this point 20 minutes or so to get up to the top, but we shall see, we shall see. Just a spectacular day today. My gosh, it's so beautiful. Again, I'm very, very disappointed. Mainly for you guys, because I know a lot of you, especially this time of year, this is like the, you, you're, your only time when you get any time off. And you want to come up and enjoy some fresh powder and just, yeah, get that feeling in your gut just like I get every time it snows. It's just the best feeling in the world. But we didn't get anything, man. 
can see a little frost on the roof there. This is my friend's shop, Big Bear Smoke and Vape right there. He's got two of them, one in Big Bear City, one in Big Bear Lake. His name is Sahil. They have so much stuff there, not just your vaping and all that type of stuff. They have other stuff there too. I always love you guys to stop in there, say hi, maybe do a little bit of shopping because he's he's one of the one of the business owners that, that cares a lot about you, the tourist, and those are the people that I want to refer business to. If you mention that I sent you, he'll probably take care of you. Just like if you go to, uh, to get boards, ski and snowboard rentals. If you mention my name or this channel, they will definitely take care of you. Um, the owner, Tony, super cool dude. They've got quality products, high-end products. And uh, I think you'll be very happy from start to finish with your experience there. So once again, get boards and get board ski and snowboard rentals information is again in the description of this video. aftermath video because we haven't gone up to the onyx summit area in a while so i think it'll be great and then coming back down the views are going to be just epic just epic so i'm excited i'm excited to see that part but if you turn right here on maple you will be heading up to sugarloaf we are not going to sugarloaf
very far from anything. But look at all the snow up on the mountain there. Gorgeous. I hope you guys can tell. As we get closer, you should be able to see. Just beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh boy. That's my beautiful wife texting me. When I have a chance when we get up here, I will check it out. When I first moved up here, you guys, I used to drive up here all the time because I was so lonely in this town. I didn't know any anyone within a hundred miles. And uh, I would always drive up and down the mountain, almost daily, just to get out of here and uh, just feel free. Because you sometimes get mountain fever, aka island fever. Wow, it is slick.
that snow on the right hand side. video of the hotel for a few days but all you do is go to Big Bear Weather and more on YouTube sledding on that hill right there that is so cool yeah we're just gonna do this real quickly we're gonna get out for a second and I'm gonna check my wife's message my beautiful baby's message hang on a sec Just hang tight, guys. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna go check this out a little bit. It is so slick. I'm not wearing my snow boots either. I'm wearing my hiking boots. Oh, almost just ate it. And those of you who've been watching this channel for a long time, this is me, always wearing my shorts in the snow. I don't know why. I just get so lazy because I have to go in and out of my house so often, you guys, every single day for work, that to put on all the layers and layers constantly is just not fun. It gets old.
God, this is so pretty. Since I want to get this video uploaded, we're going to hurry back and watch out for the ice here. Slick, slick, slick. I'm probably going to eat it. Hope I don't, though. Wow. Just wow. Well, we found the snow, guys. Hope you all are happy about that. Yeah, just come up Highway 38 and park here at Onyx Summit and have some snowball fights, make some snowmen, and go sledding. What do you think? I think that'll be fun, right? I think the kids would love that. And if the kids love it, it makes me happy too. All right, so let's uh, head on down. I was gonna check my, you know what? I'll check the tire while we're here, forget it. I just don't wanna panic if it's really bad. I do have an air compressor built into the car though, so I can fill up the tire. That looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. So it's gotta be this last one. And that one, oh, that one looks a little low. Okay. Perfect, perfect. But once again, look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, guys. As I always say, let's make like Tom and Cruz. All right. Let's get back down. Oh, no. I should have gone because we're going to be behind these two slow pokes. Oh, well. Let's do it. And these views, you guys, as I said, coming down are gonna be pretty darn epic. Pretty, pretty darn epic views. Pretty darn epic. We just gotta be careful. Even though we have snow tires on, as I already pointed out, these roads were not fun coming up here. Of course, when I'm suggesting to bring the kids, if you guys are going at a slow pace and you have an all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive vehicle, which probably won't make much of a difference, it's not that bad. If you're, if you're in a hurry, it's gonna be bad. Don't be in a hurry. Just come up here, make sure you get here safe and sound. Because I love you guys. I don't want you guys to get hurt but I do want you guys to enjoy yourselves. And if this is gonna be your only way to see and play in the snow by coming up Highway 38 with, with your little ones, then you know what? Come up Highway 38, have some fun. And it's gonna be a beautiful drive because on the other side of Onyx Summit, you'll probably be driving for about 20 minutes or so driving in the snow because you'll already be at a pretty high elevation for a long time getting up to Onyx Summit from the other side of Onyx Summit. It's so pretty. What this reminds me of is, is, is when I was younger, growing up in Newport Beach, look at that view. Saddleback Mountain would get snow maybe once or twice per year. And then we would park in Rancho Santa Margarita and make our way up to the snow once in a blue moon. I think I've, I've, I've done that twice, but that's what it reminds me of here like Big Bear's Newport, where it just never snows, but very rarely up the hill a little bit, you'll get some snow. It's just That's just what it feels like to me. My goodness, this is so pretty, you guys. Holy smokes. Holy smoky.
extra slow. There's no one behind us. So over here, I'm pointing the camera at about one o'clock, or now it's gonna be about two o'clock and three o'clock. Hopefully we can get a good view. That's the desert down there. And it is a beautiful view today. Let me see if we can get it. Oh yeah. Just so special. Look at that, all the way down there at the very end, you're looking at the desert and some mountains in the desert. gray cloud right in the middle of the screen that little tiny cloud that is so adorable It's just some of the shady areas. Just be extra cautious. But I don't see any snow on the forecast for at least two weeks. That could change. It very well could change, but I wanna make sure that you guys get to see something when you come up here. And your only possibility, as far as I'm concerned, is coming up Highway 38. You'll see a lot more snow than you expect. Any other route into Big Bear, you, I, I'm 99% uh, certain you're not gonna see anything. At least not along the drive. over here to the right. You can see some houses over here. Lake Williams Road, turn right here. So as I said, this is the last neighborhood as you're leaving town or entering town, it's the first neighborhood. Pretty cool. driving and there will be no more snow to be seen.
Okay, the snow's gone. The snow is gone. That's just so sad. And as you can see, the, the high peaks on the other side of, of Bear Valley up there don't have any snow on them. None. But I'll get into that in future videos when we have snow, explaining why I believe that that is the case. Because those are just about as high as like Snow Summit at, at the top, but because they're on the other side of the lake, on the desert side, that dry desert air just eats these storms right up. So once the storms get through like the Snow Summit area, those mountains right there, they just fall apart and all their moisture gets eaten alive. Okay, we're coming up to uh, Irwin Lake again. Turn right to get to Irwin. Huge neighborhood. Huge neighborhood. I'll send you guys a text when the video is up. So I think we're going to cut across to North Shore once we get to Big Bear Boulevard just to get some of the views of, like I was just talking about, Snow Summit and Bear Mountain and stuff like that from across the lake or just on the North Shore side. Because I know the top of Snow Summit and Bear got a few inches of nice new snow. But yeah, there's nothing, nothing in town. top of Onyx Summit, I think it got down to 36, and now right here it's 45. Quite a difference, wouldn't you say? Chance of, of, of some snow showers, but uh, 
that's just way too far out to have any semblance of uh, accuracy when it comes to the forecasting. So fingers crossed, we do get something. And in the next two weeks, things can change. You know, tomorrow it could show that in four days we, we have a chance for some snow. So let's just keep our fingers crossed about it. I know I've been crossing my fingers a lot this season, but I've had to. I haven't had much of a choice. This way, you'll eventually get to Highway 18 at the backside, heading down to Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley and Victorville areas. Heading this direction, we're heading back towards Big Bear Lake. We're technically in Big Bear City right now. I need to crack the window because it's really hot in here. South Shore. Oh, it's so pretty.
going to turn left here on Stanfield Cutoff. It's another one of the connections between North and South Shore, folks. It's the last one before you get to Fonskin, and there's not even one in Fonskin. You have to drive all the way around the lake to come back around the other side. So this is the last turn to get from one side to the other. And that is pretty bright. Take a nice look at the lake. Get a nice look out that way. Well, cool, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the aftermath video. We're obviously we're not going to go to the dam part of town because damn, we didn't have anything go on over there. But yeah, just uh, as I said, hope you guys are having a great day. Happy happy weekend to you all. I know Christmas is coming up. I don't know if I'm going to do a video to wish you guys a merry Christmas. I probably will. But either way, merry Christmas. Hit the like and subscribe button. Help me out. Go to BigBearWeatheredMore.com. Get your merchandise. And when you come up for rentals, go to Get Boards. You will get hooked up and taken care of. Thanks again, you guys, for everything. Again, I hope you have a most spectacular rest of your holiday season and Christmas season. You guys are a real joy to have in my life. I thank you every second of every day for everything. In the meantime, have a great rest of your Saturday. And I'll talk to you later. It's December 23rd, 2023 in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California.